Thanks. See you then. The West Baton Rouge District Attorney Tony Clayton says he is trying to make an example out of five murder suspects linked to a deadly shooting in 2021. Miranda Thomas explains how the state is now using a federal law to crack down on gang violence right here in our state. Miranda. For the first time, Congress and local governments allowed the state of Louisiana to use the federal racketeer statute, also known as RICO, prosecuting all suspects alleged to be involved in a gang at once. Young folks who want to be involved in gangs, guide yourselves accordingly because the buck stops here. We're no longer playing with you. We're no longer dealing with you. We will start trying you under this RICO statute, trying your entire gangs. In this case, these five men could spend the rest of their lives behind bars for the shooting death of Eugene Jiru. It happened on Pennsylvania Avenue in New Roads. Deputies say the victim was shot to death with three different guns back in 2021. And whoever had any involvement in the case will be held accountable. Put them all together. They're all guilty anyway in terms of what, what, what took place here. And let's try them together. So it's not a question of what's fairness. It's, it's the right thing to do. According to Tony Clayton, a usual trial involving a so-called gang will take years to complete, but a RICO case would save them time and taxpayers' dollars. It's something officials hope will send a clear message. So when you wear your colors and you get on social media, you wave your guns and you go out and you forfeit, you forfeit your right to walk around with the rest of us when you anoint yourself God has sucked the life out of somebody else's child. It's a new process for the state, but Clayton says there are more cases like this to come. In New Rose, Miranda Thomas, WAFB 9 News. So that trial is actually still underway tonight. If we get any developments, we'll send you out an alert on your phone. We'll be sure to stay on top of it. So right now we're also following this bit of breaking news. One